The purpose of this documentary is to investigate the risks of corn snakes. Hello, I am Aidan Walker and today my report will be focusing on the sustainability issue of exotic animals, specifically on American corn snakes. Corn snakes are a non-venomous American species of snake that grow to a length of approximately 5 feet. The issue at hand is centred on the discovery of a corn snake in a Bondi suburb by a member of the community. The snake was reported to New South Wales Parks and Wildlife, who then produced a statement against the keeping of illegal snakes, describing the danger as a significant threat to the environment. There are two main opposing sides to this argument. One, that snakes are a significant threat to the Australian environment, and the other, that they aren't. The side that is opposed to exotic reptiles primarily consists of government officials and organisations. The other side, mainly reptile keepers and members of animal organisations that disagree with the stance set by the government. The person that we will hear from is the, is the resident who found the snake, Mrs Katrina Walker. Mrs Walker, thank you for taking time out of your schedule to come and talk to me. No problem. Um, so would you mind telling me what happened on the day? Well, I keep chooks and I'd gone out to the backyard to feed them and I'm used to seeing the odd mouse but I'm certainly not used to seeing a snake when I picked up their water bowl to empty it and clean it. There was this snake. I didn't know what kind of snake it was. And how does this make you feel about your community and your home? Well, I've got two young children so now I'm, I don't know, super careful now and I'm actually thinking of getting rid of the chooks if they're going to attract a snake like that because, yeah, um, yeah, it's just too dangerous. And one final question, how do you think these um, snakes should be dealt with? Um, I actually don't agree with people keeping snakes as pets, specifically dangerous snakes. I, I was told it was a corn snake, I don't know much about them. Um, I prefer snakes to be kept in proper enclosures like zoos and breeders, proper breeders. It needs to be regulated more. So in terms of which side is more credible, I believe that although there is no way to prove that corn snakes will not impact our ecosystems, there is also a lack of evidence to claim that they will. Although the government's stance is that they are a significant threat, documents from the Western Australian government detailed an extensive investigation into the risk of corn snake introduction. Within this investigation, the corn snake ranked lowest in almost every category except for the durability with which they can survive. Although there is always a chance for a pest population to occur, lack of proof and evidence that disagrees with their view leads me to doubt the claim that corn snakes are a major threat to the Australian environment. There are risk assessments for corn snakes in countries other than Australia and an example of this is in Brazil. Their findings were very similar, although the difference in climate did suggest that Australia is better suited to support corn snakes. However, the most important part of this report is the discovery that outside of the US, corn snakes have not found a pest population despite their status as the world's most popular kept reptile. I'm here with Mr Whipple. Mr Whipple, how long have you been catching reptiles for? I've been involved with catching snakes for approximately 15 years, but I've kept them for over 30. I gr grew up with all sorts of reptiles as a kid. Okay, and have you noticed in recent times an increase in the number of corn snake call-outs you've been getting? Yeah, in the past five years there has been a significant increase in corn snake call-outs. This may be due to the in increased access to these exotic animals, relaxed government regulations or perhaps the popularisation of reptiles as pets over the past decade. Alright, and just finally, um, do you believe that these corn snakes should be illegal? With the right type of regulations combined with strict information recording, ex educational classes and safe safety standards, I see no reason why these beautiful animals should not be allowed in Australia. On top of this, if, I, if corn snakes were legalised, the exotic pet trade would be diminished as they are the most popular reptile import at the end of the day. One of the issues with the side stating that corn snakes are a significant threat is this DAFWA document, giving corn snakes an establishment risk of only moderate, a public safety risk of zero, but still giving them an extreme threat to the Australian ecosystem. This does not make sense. Furthermore, the Cayman Islands are the only area in the world that are threatened by corn snake naturalisation. I would just like to thank Mrs Katrina Walker and Mr Alan Whipple for allowing me to interview them. I would also like to thank the Western Australian Government for allowing me access to documents on the risk assessments of corn snakes. And finally, I would like to thank Christian Munford for the video of the corn snake at the beginning of the film that was taken in his backyard. There's always two sides to every story. There's the government side that believe that corn snakes are an extreme risk to the Australian environment. There's also the side of reptile enthusiasts and other people who support corn snakes that say they aren't. Now, there's no definitive proof for either side. In terms of the government's claims... There's many facts and reports stating that corn snakes are well suited to the Australian environment. However, this ignores the fact that they pose no potential risk to the Australian people, 
And also, there's no other recorded times of corn snakes forming pest populations. The only possible example is in the Cayman Islands, where they've naturalised on one island. Now, in terms of bringing them into Australia, history tells us that exotic animals are not always the best option. You look at cases of the cane toad, rabbits, foxes, that have all impacted negatively on the Australian environment. I believe that you can form a balance between both of these issues. If it's properly regulated and the system's in place to prevent outbreaks, I don't see any reason why corn snakes should not be able to be kept in Australia.